All right, friends, welcome back to Celiac After 60. Woo, it's been a while. Okay, so I know the, one of the videos we talked about, I was working on fungal. Oh my goodness. So he's got an article, Dr. Davis has an article on his infinite health circle. And then he has this book and he talks about the essential oils. Okay, now. What I love about the Infinite Health, it's the latest and greatest that people have found. So, I mean, we're always working, well, he is always working on perfecting what's out there in the book, okay? Trying to help us. He's working on helping us get better and I just thank you for that. Okay, so let's talk about the essential oils. Let's talk about where I'm at. On that so I've been doing I've been doing the the olive oil and I do mild because the other other one is woo in your face and it's hard it's hard to get down it's hard to pellet so in his book he's saying like four drops but you start low you start with one or two and then you work your way up okay so I've been doing that I've been doing really well um, I've been trying to separate them from my Cybo yogurts that I'm making separately and it seems to be doing better if I have them too close it seems like I have a little sword fight in my gut and um, whoa so I have to back off so that's what I found um, I've got a bunch been trying to try different ones now I know that the cinnamon oil is like number one and he talks a lot about the oregano um so yeah so it's kind of up to you what you think you can palate and it's it's hard when we're trying to get better it's hard for me um the bloating and it's like you don't want to bloat it hurts it's it's very uncomfortable so but this this has been working um he talks about making sure you're doing three things Okay, at least three of the things to clear the sypho, which is small intestinal back, let's see, small intestinal fungal overgrowth. And that's, you know, that's like, uh, oh golly, it's, it's, it's so similar to the SIBO and the symptoms are similar. So that's what makes this really, really hard to figure out and clear. So, you know, like I'm going back, he does say to use three of them. So he says to use your Saccharomyces boulardii. This is not the one he refers to. He refers to uh, in his book, and I want to say it's the, ah, I can't remember. But I know it has dairy in it. And for me, ah, it really caused symptoms. And so um, you can make the Bilardi boil. You can go on to his website. It's Dr. Da it's, it's William Davis, MD. And he teaches you how to make the Bilardi boil, which is really cool. And then you just have like a fourth a cup to help clear the sypho, okay, the fungal. So this probably isn't the right one to use. All right, now, um, he always says to do the turmeric. Uh, curcumin but you don't want the pepper in because you don't want it to absorb you want it to lay on your colon and you want it to absorb the yucky yucky and yeah and then when you're having your BM it just rides right out of out of your body so which is really cool so these are a few that I did um, my husband does the MCT oil it works for him I've been doing this one it's just the mild olive oil I can palate it it works it's not so in your face when I'm doing the cinnamon oil and a little bit of clove. Um, so I can, I can do that. Now, if the first few nights when I started doing this, oh man, I woke up and I was in pain. So my lower right side hurt. And I'm just not really focusing, thinking, what the heck? So I went ahead and did my, um, it's called the activated charcoal and this will be your friend you don't want to do it all the time you only want to do it when you absolutely have to because it will suck up your nutrients okay but this is a really great tool that you need in your toolbox this is something that i really 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 needed 
and used and it was very helpful okay so yeah so when you get those you know so you will you you know when you're clearing this stuff you i got the fermentation and the pain and for me because i've been doing the clove tea it wasn't pain pain like it used to be it was like this dull nasty yucky ache is like an aching pain and this just took it away it was just it was good it was this stuff is really good i got it from sprouts it was like 10 bucks and there's like what 100 in here yeah and i believe they say two two capsules i don't weigh much i don't think i weigh 100 pounds yet so i just take one it works so play with it everybody's body's different and play with it okay so yeah this is just a touch base on we've got to work on our fungal friends same symptoms as the cybo just you're gonna have to dig deep make so for, for me I had to make sure that I'm documenting you know and it's just it, it is frustrating trying to get rid of this stuff is frustrating but when you get over that hump you will feel so good okay so um my favorite is the cinnamon it seems like it's really doing its job on my tongue okay and um, so I'm just doing just like three drops and I'm diluting it in the, the olive oil. I'm doing mild, as you can see it. Um, we don't, and very caution, you do not do it straight. Make sure you do it in oil. So you've got the MCT, you've got the olive. There's other oil, coconut oil. There's other oils you can do this in. So make sure. Do not do it by itself. You will burn your throat we do not want that we need to get better we don't want to do anything that will delay our healing okay guys our friends okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put just a double okay that's enough and then um and a little bit of the the olive oil. You can stir it if you want. I don't. I'm just gonna. It's a little bit strong. And you can always do a little bit more of the olive oil if it's too strong, just to dilute it to make sure that you're not burning yourself. We don't wanna burn ourselves. You want to make sure it's diluted. You don't want to burn yourself. You want to make sure that we are healing. We're not ruining anything. We're not, you know, you know, causing havoc on our throats. That's what we do not want to do. So, and he says that in his book. He says, do not use a carrier. Use a carrier, friends. So, um, Dr. Davis suggests twice a day. What I've been doing, I've just been doing it once a day. I like to have my yogurt in the morning. I've been kind of switching off between the Myruteri one morning, just, just like maybe, you know, a little bit, half a cup. And then the next morning I'll, I'll combine all of them. The Myruteri, the Algaceri, and the M, oh come on, HU58. And so I'll do that the next, but I'm, my healing, I'm really progressing really, really well. I haven't had the pains, um, the, the trap gas, so I just feel like I just kind of want to um, back off, slow, slow it down a little bit, see how I'm doing. Um, yeah, and then just make, so what I'm making sure, because he's saying three, three different methods, friends. So the turmeric, no pepperin. This one's a good brand now. Okay, I'm not affiliated again. This one I found that's really well, good. Um, and the Saccharomyces boulardii, uh, and we'll put it on the, in the description, the one that Dr. Davis recommends. It does have dairy in it. So you'll have to make your, you're gonna have to make your boulardii boil, use, use juice. Um, I'll put a link in um, the, the video that he's been, um, has out so you can make it. And then just a fourth a cup. That's all you need, just a fourth a cup. And if that causes problems in your gut then back off and if it still causes problems then we just take it out for a while not forever we just have more healing to do 
That's what it's all about. Listen to our gut. Okay, friends, we have to listen. Okay, we're the only one that knows what's going on with our little gut. Okay, you guys. All right, hopefully this helps. Don't forget, if you do have um, bloating and pain, this is amazing. Charcoal, it'll take it away. Don't do it a lot because it will take the, the vitamins and minerals. It'll suck them all. It, they will not absorb in your body. So, but this is a really good tool. Okay. Again, I'm not affiliated. I just want to share and help whoever needs help because this stuff is awful <laughs> and we need to get better. We have a life to live. All right, you guys. I love you. Mwah! Have a great day.